Cochin Shipyard Limited, a government of India enterprise recruitment for executive trainees. Uh, this is a notification number. Uh, recruitment for executive trainees uh, dated on October 1st, 2021. So, the essential eligibility qualifications, what is the examination criteria, number of vacancies, eligibility criteria, we'll be seeing in this video. Uh, for disciplines of uh, civil engineering, so the essential qualification is degree in civil engineering with a minimum 65% of marks. Number of vacancies are two, one for unreserved and one for EWS. For electrical, there are 19 vacancies and nine for unreserved, five for OBC and uh, Three, uh, 3 for SC category, 2 two vacancies for EWS category and the essential criteria is degree in electrical engineering with a minimum of 65% uh, of uh, marks for any university and for electronics the number of vacancies are just 2 vacancies uh, one for unreserved, one for EWS and uh, degree is uh, electronics engineering degree with 65% is uh, education qualification for mechanical engineering uh, 37 vacancies, so 16 for unreserved, 9 for uh, OBC, 5 for SC and 2 for ST, 5 for EWS and the essential co uh, qualification is a degree in mechanical engineering with 65% marks. So Naval Architect, there are 6 vacancies, 2 for unreserved, 2 for OBC, 1 for SC, 1 for EWS and the education qualification is degree in Naval Architect with 65% of marks. For information technology, there are two vacancies, one for unreserved, one for ST and the essential qualification is uh, uh, a guys who uh, had a degree in computer science or information technology or master's degree in computer applications or computer science information technology with 65% of marks are eligible to apply for the post of uh, executive trainee in the information technology. So desirable thing is valid certification from reputed agencies in organization like prog programming languages, DBMS, networking, ERP. This is just desirable, not essential. For the uh, human resource, uh, there are two vacancies, uh, one for unreserved, one for OBC. The degree is a degree with minimum 65% of marks and a master's degree is essential in order to apply for the post of HR. That is two years master's degree or equivalent uh, diploma a postgraduate uh, degree in the following areas that is master degree in specialization of a, a HR or equivalent or master degree in business administration with HR or equivalent or postgraduate degree in social work specialization in personal management or labor welfare and industrial relations or postgraduate degree in personal management so you can apply for this post total of 70 vacancies so this is the greatest opportunity for all those uh, who are eligible to apply and the emoluments uh, during the training uh, the stipend will be given that is 50,000 during the training and after completion of successful training uh, the emoluments is uh, the basic the total salary is 1,12,181 approximately 13 lakhs per annum is a package so this is the package 13 lakhs per annum uh, the eligibility criteria is uh, age limit is 27 years for uh, OC cate category people and uh, there is 3 years relaxation for OBC candidates and uh, for 5 years relaxation for SCST uh, category people. So the mode of selection will be uh, phase 1 and phase 2. Phase 1 which will be objective type online test uh, 60 minutes duration comprising of 60 multiple choice questions and uh, the multiple choice questions are uh, general awareness 5 marks english language 5 marks numerical ability 5 marks reasoning ability 5 marks and uh, subject that is discipline core either civil electrical mechanical or hr so that will be of 40 marks total 60 marks this is a phase 1 examination each question carries one mark and remember there is no negative marking so 60 questions 60 minutes 60 marks and no negative and phase 2 will be a group discussion uh, writing skills and personal interview which will be comprising of 40 marks so weightage of this is uh, 
a bit high compared to other examinations so objective test is 60 marks and uh, group discussion is 10 marks writing skills uh, and personal interview writing skills is for 10 marks and personal interview is 20 marks total of 100 marks so this is regarding the uh, phase 1 and phase 2 examination criteria for this so the online test will be held at various centers in Kerala so not all over India only Kerala uh, so you need to go to Kerala in order to write this examination so the tentative schedule for examination is also given the objective type test uh, will be tentatively held in third week of November 2021 and phase 2 shall be held uh, in Kochi itself so this is regarding the examination criteria and when it will be held and what are the centers the centers is only in the vicinity of Kerala so the merit list will be prepared based on the marks secured in the online test for various disciplines based on the marks secured by the candidates in the online test will be shortlisted for certificate verification and followed in the ratio of 1 is to 6 so this is regarding the number of vacancies and uh, discipline wise qualification has already so these are the branches uh, who, are, who can apply for the post of uh, different streams for electrical, electrical and electronics engineering and for electronics uh, these are the streams uh, where you can apply even if you belong to instrumentation uh, you can apply uh, for electronics and for mechanical uh, you can apply for mechanical stream production engineering candidates can also apply automobile can also apply for naval uh, naval architect uh, dual degree is also eligible to apply for naval architect so the final year candidates can also apply for this post but uh, remember uh, you need to have the marks list before December 2021 the extension of proof of producing the past qualifying degree should be before December 2021 uh, so this is a service agreement will be 5 lakhs and uh, the application fee criteria is 750 rupees which is non-refundable uh, for EWS and uh, OC candidates, OBC candidates and uh, there is no proper uh, no particular fees for SCST candidates and PWD candidates as well. So this is regarding the fee criteria. You can go to cochinshipyard.in and uh, you can go to careers page on coaching shipyard you just click on register registration submission of application then you can apply online so this is regarding uh, the last day to apply for online examination for your online is 27th of october 2021 so the last day to fill the application form is uh, 27th of october 2021 the starting date is from 6th october to 27th of october so the examination will be held in the month of uh, uh, November that is third week of November and call letters will be just email so this is regarding number of vacancies in Cochin Shipyard Limited as for executive trainee uh, this is a permanent job and a 13 LPA is a package so the link for online application and the notification is given in the description do apply for that thank you have a great day